looks like they'll get back into the room just fine for now, but they're all bottled up. The Reflect could be deadly. Tvik goes down. There goes side player Architect with three already. If you include the DMAC on Manitin, make it four with Zebesai. And Shock are just going to crush for Libero to kill himself again. Nice wall setting up Mano for the pin. Coco, though, too low health, and Neko just runs him over. Meanwhile, Seagull, once again, the last man standing on the point. <laughs> he tried. Jonax Volley at point blank. Hey guys, Doan Monte Cristo here to announce our players of the day. It's a very big deal, don't you know? And I'm going to go ahead and pick Jonak. This may come as no surprise to you, but you know what? It's been a while since I picked Jonak. I think it How may about Pine? be. Uh, well, I love Pine too. If I could <laughs> pick two, I would pick Jonak and Pine because the way they performed that last match was just indicative of how they've been all season long in Overwatch League. Such a big impact these guys have had for both their teams. You've kind of like talked me into talking about both of them. That's yeah, good. I'm going to shift it back to Jonak now. This guy. <laughs> He, he hits shots that no Zenyatta has any business hitting, much like Pine hits shots no Widowmaker has any business hitting. But, you know, uh, beyond that, though, Jonak, of course, his transcendence has always seemed to be very well timed. His positioning is good. He's there to kind of save his teammates when they need to, as uh, we saw today when he took out Coco on Nepal. It's a, a good time to be Jonak, and it's a good time to watch Jonak, too. I'm not, I'm not actually going to pick Pine. I'm going oh. to pick... Okay. Architect, who I think Solid choice. this week has really had some breakout performances. Mm. This is probably the best we've seen San Francisco look. Even though they played against a weaker opponent in Florida, I think we really got to see the coordination today, as well as how much Architect uh, really helps them with his hero pool. Yeah. Genji continues to be incredible, as we knew it would be coming into this league. And now he's had some time to gel with this roster and is really, I think, making uh, a big impression. It was close, Nevix, really close. Uh, obviously, a great game from our Swedish off-tank player today, but yep. Architect, this is his breakout moment today. This is the Shocks, I think, breakout moment today, and exciting to see them go 6-4 and four after two back-to-back -back three and seven stages. Yeah, absolutely. A lot to look forward to from those guys in stage four, and a lot to look forward to tomorrow as the Overwatch League continues. Guys, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.